Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri, and I've got a very exciting tutorial for you guys this time. We are going to kill Thanos. How cool is that? Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look. I'm just going to preview this. Uh, you can see that he's disintegrating in a very fluid sort of uh, fashion, and we've used two like uh, forces in this case, uh, in this case, fields inside of Maya of course so we're gonna be using Maya for this it's a very simple setup and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this effect inside of Maya but the one thing that I want to say before getting to this tutorial is that Thanos I'm sorry but you're dead you should have gone for the head wait wait what 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 shoot no no wait 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 what oh shh Alright, now that you're back to square one and uh, he basically snapped his fingers again and now we're back to normal. Uh, so we're gonna have to, you know, start and, you know, start to kill him again. And we're in Maya 2018. So what I'm going to do is, uh, before killing him, of course, you need some practice. So I'm going to show you guys the basic technique of how to do this effect on a very simple object so that you can grasp the idea and then we're gonna move on to killing Thanos again so uh, basically the effect is pretty simple we're gonna be using N cloth so what I'm gonna do is shift right click and create say a torus and I'm going to scale it up by hitting R and uh, just uh, move it up and we can just rotate it hold down J for rotation snap it will snap every 15 degrees so that it's perfectly 90 degrees on the Z and the other thing is that, uh, as you can hear in the background, uh, we got, uh, it's it's a morning, so it's like 5.20 in the morning, and the birds are making these beautiful sounds. So, yeah, we're going to continue. So, uh, we have this object, and uh, if you can give it a bit more, you know, uh, detail, like say, if I select both of them, and just middle mouse click and drag, we can increase or decrease the amount of polygons basically so the more it is the more it's gonna look cool but it is gonna take more time for sure so just make it like as much as necessary and the other thing is that now if we do this effect it's going to be like in these kind of shapes because whatever the shape of this uh, polygon is whatever this is that is the shape that is going to disintegrate so in this case if I go back to After Effects you can see that uh, this is actually from the model itself some pieces are small some pieces are big but the shape is kind of triangular so what we need to do is make this uh, make this object a triangulated shape so what, what we can do in Maya is just select this object and I'm going to go to mesh and I'm going to select triangulate so what's going to do is it's going to turn all those faces into triangles which is going to be looking really cool once we finish with the effect so the other thing that I'm gonna do is uh, and I'm sorry if I'm going a little fast I'm assuming that you have the basic knowledge of Maya uh, you know to follow this tutorial if you don't you can uh, watch a lot of tutorials on YouTube on the basics of Maya anyways uh, so uh, here's how the process starts okay it's a very simple thing but once you get it, it's going to be, you know, you're going to get very fluent with it. So you have to pay attention to this. Um, first off, we need to select all the edges. So go right click on edge and select all the edges of your object, whatever it may be. And uh, go to mesh, uh, sorry, edit mesh and go to detach so that they're detached from the object. And do the same thing. Go face and select them all and go into detach and here is what's really important okay you have to remember this step because if you don't then it's not gonna work uh, first you have to convert this object into an end cloth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this modeling uh, sub menu click on effects go to end cloth and create end cloth that's it so now our object is basically a cloth okay so we've uh, I change this object to a cloth and now the thing is that uh, each of these faces are going to be separate and let's try with end cloth so now if I play this this object is basically an end cloth which is uh, you know really really cool but they do they go through the floor see they go through the floor so we don't want them to go if you want them to collide with the ground what you can do is go to the nucleus 
and hit control a for the attributes editor and i'm going to go to ground plane and i'm going to use plane so now they're going to basically collide with the ground which is really cool but in this case we don't want them to be affected by the gravity and we want them to affect it by like wind and some other forces that we're going to create so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the uh, end cloth and i'm going to select the end cloth shape go to dynamic properties and i'm going to go down and select ignore solver gravity now by default end cloth is going to ignore the gravity until unless we apply some kind of external force okay so that's pretty cool and i'm going to extend my timeline to like 200 and now i'm going to select make sure the cloth is selected and not the object so i'm going to select the end cloth i'm going to go into the fields and solvers and i'm going to add a turbulence and you can click on the little box and just rename it to whatever you know turbulence and you can change the settings but for now we're going to hit create and uh, by default for me I've just said and I've went into the volume options and it, there is a volume shape if it's none then it's going to be infinite if I play this back you can see that they're gonna move to like wherever but if you want them if you want the force to be contained or in a very specific area you can use a shape a you know geometric shape like we can use in this case a sphere and now you can see a sphere is here and I'm, I can select it and I can hit R and scale it up and I do apologize if I'm going a little fast it's just I'm a bit excited for this tutorial so yeah um, okay so we've uh, moved the sphere and now wherever the sphere is basically uh, the area that is inside the sphere is going to be affected by the force the area which is outside it's not so basically you can see that the end cloth is not affected because it's simply outside the sphere radius so if I move this in and go back and play it now you can see that it's moving pretty in that area is going to be affected okay so what I, what I did basically in this example is I've created two forces I've created one uh, box type force which goes in and the other one is just like a sphere that comes up and goes for his head which we should have gone at the first place but we didn't so we're gonna go for the head this time uh, okay so getting back to Maya I'm going to go and animate this uh, sphere so I'm gonna go with go up with the translate right click set key and I'm going to go like 100 frames and I'm going to move this over and right click set key so now if I play this back you can see that this is uh, just moving the object we can we can change the settings of this we can go to like uh, the magnitude we can increase it to like a hundred and the attenuation is basically this uh, the scale of how much the force is you know having that uh, sort of noise pattern big or small so the bigger it is the kind of less turbulent motion the objects are gonna have the smaller it is like 0.65 it's gonna be a bit more like fluid so now if I play this you can see that they're going a bit more in like a random turbulent mode and if you want them to be like you know slow you can just uh, increase the distance between these two keyframes like 200 and go back and then play it and you can see that now it's going at a very sort of you know slow pace even though the thing is a bit too much so we can go like maybe 60 was fine here so yeah, this is the basic idea for this tutorial so if if you've made this far if you made this far and grasped the idea that's basically it and i'm pretty sure you can do the thanos effect just by yourself but i just wanted to show you guys how it works uh, because it's a different object and obviously if you watch the thumbnail of this tutorial it's the thanos so we have to kill thanos so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this other scene which I have a model of Thanos which I've downloaded online for free and uh, in this case we're going to do the same thing. We have two separate objects so we have to create two different end cloths. One for his shield and his uh, uh, what's called uh, gauntlet and his shoes. The other one is for his uh, body basically so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in his body and I'm going to select all the right click all the edges select them all and I'm gonna go to edit mesh detach do the same thing with the faces 
select them all and I'm gonna go detach that's it make sure that these faces are detached and not like still connected with the body okay and now uh, I'm gonna right click object mode and I'm gonna select the rest of the body and I'm, do I'm gonna do the same thing so select it doesn't matter select the faces uh, go to detach and I'm gonna select the edges second it doesn't matter if you select the edges or the faces first or last just make sure you do them both detach and now we basically have the same thing so these objects are separate so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select all of them or both of them I'm going to go to the effects menu go to end cloth and I'm gonna create end cloth and now if I play this uh, for you guys you can see that Thanos is basically you know collapsing into the ground even not even collapsing because it's not touching the ground so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to nucleus control a for the attribute editor and I'm gonna go use plane so now if I play this you can see that he's collapsing on himself which it can be a really good effect uh, I don't know if you like it you can do it you know but for us you know it's yeah it's it can be a creative way to kill him I mean it looks cool you can just uh, you know let's do a play blast of this I'm gonna go right click play blast and I'm gonna make sure that you know it has a different name and uh, 1280 by 720 scale one and play blast uh, okay wait wait escape uh, we missed the head again so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out and right click again and do play blast and you wanna replace it yes okay so we've basically play blasted the first hundred frames and it looks cool you know it's just like he's he just you know <laughs> it's cool okay so uh, this is one way but as we did in our example so we're gonna go what we're gonna go to into each of these end plots dynamic properties and I'm going to go with ignore solver gravity same thing here now he will not be affected by anything uh, maybe his feet will be affected because it's touching the ground so what I'm gonna do is go back to the nucleus and use plane off so now it's not gonna recognize anything so now I'm going to select both of these forces uh, both of these uh, end plots or you can do the first one uh, and I'm going to or both of them I want the, both of them to be affected so I'm gonna go into a uh, new turbulence and I'm going to select the shape uh, to be a sphere because this time we are going for the head first remember you have to learn from your previous mistakes okay so <laughs> last time we didn't go for the head so what I'm gonna do is this time I'm gonna go for the head make it big and I'm going to animate this it's translate right click set key and I'm going to go to like 100 frames or 99 frames and I'm gonna go all the way down to his feet like this and I'm going to go set key alright so let's see how this looks with his head and uh, I'm gonna do another play blast right click make sure to replace or you can change the name but for now I'm gonna replace and let's see how it looks all right, so we're back and let's take a look. Uh, all right, damn, this is looking really cool. You know, it's just, it's just like a sword is moving from his head down and it's like cutting him. And the good thing is we still got some part of him left because we want him to suffer more. Still, he's barely alive, but his head is gone. That's the, you know, that's the most important thing. But uh, you know, we again forgot the gauntlet which he can snap again and go back to the time but for now it's okay so yeah uh, I'm going to make this a bit more slow so I'm gonna go make it like 300 frames and I'm going to uh, select this keyframe go back to the first frame shift select this keyframe and I'm going to drag it to like 200 frames because I want it to be a bit more slow and I can do one more thing select both of these and add another force maybe you know like a turbulence again and this time we can just animate this one going from like this way uh, we're gonna we want it to be starting from 100 frames so I'm gonna go with uh, translate set key and go to like 270 frames and move it to this side so that his uh, gauntlet also destroys and then I'm gonna set the magnitude to like 65 and the attenuation to 0.6 
and go into the head the first one also maybe to like 70 and 0.55 and now we're going to do our final play blast right click play blast settings and we're going to go to thanos final thanos okay thanos final and i'm going to click play blast and i'll be back when it's done okay so it's done and uh, we'll see it's looking pretty cool it's a bit fast you can make it slow and now you can see that this side is also getting ripped and it's gone let and everything is gone and this time he's really gone because we went for the head first and now he's gone and the one thing I would suggest you guys is uh, you know if you want to make it dramatic you know we haven't rendered it right but you can render it you can go like to a close-up it's the, the model is not that high quality but you can go to like a close-up headshot and just take a play blast or render you can render it out and you know uh, we'll do one more let's see how it how it looks uh, you can you can take this play blast and you can like bring it inside of After Effects you know render it out add some lights and you know add some music to really feel sorry for this guy you know so you can do a lot of things but you know it's it just you know sky is the limit of what you can do with this effect and it's already looking pretty cool from this angle so uh, you know you can do multiple things it's based on you I just you know I just wanted to show you guys how to do this effect and uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna hit escape to see how it goes yeah. the model is not that great but you know you got the idea you can make it slow just decrease the distance between those uh, increase the distance between these two keyframes and that's it and finally I've done the basic composite and after effects I just added some motion blur by using the uh, if I go here to the effect real smart um, or is this revision effects uh, motion blur pro which adds a really cool motion blur you don't have to render with motion blur from your render engine you can just do it in after effects and post which is looking pretty nice and yeah this was the today's tutorial and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it and as always uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for supporting my channel uh, you know I really do love making these tutorials but I, I need your guys support you guys feedback comments tell me what you want next Tell me what to do, another effect, a movie title, or whatever you watch, you can just suggest and we'll go based on that. And if you if you feel like you know this thing was valuable, you can share it with your friends, like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna keep making a lot of these awesome tutorials. And uh, you know, as I always say, uh, till next time, enjoy working.